so welcome back this is narajan and today we are going to discuss about the power line interference so what is this power line interference and why it has to be taken into account so these are the two questions that has to be understood before going to this power line interference okay so <coughs> power line as the name implies that the power line is interfering our bio signal line power line is interfering our bio signal line so when this interferes this uh, when this power line interferes with the bio signal line then this micro volt to milli volt level bio signal will be totally collapsed by this high voltage power line system so it is to be considered that power line has to be monitored and its interference to be reduced okay so as i said earlier what are the points to be discussed now it is first you are going to discuss about the introduction then origin of uh, interference interference reduction okay and finally interference uh, reduction in measuring cables okay. these are the things to be discussed in this power line interference okay so first one is introduction as i said earlier our bio signal is very 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 low in voltage also in uh, frequency but whereas this power line is very high voltage with with the standard fundamental frequency okay so it will cause an electromagnetic interference that is emi and with in different levels okay emi in different level and this emi waves will uh, distract the bio signal wave in this emi wave distract this bio signal wave so uh, this distorted waveform when it is recorded or displayed or uh, uh, monitored then obviously the value is also varied and uh, this results in the prescription variation prescription variation everything will be totally collapsed so it has to be reduced and monitored so next origin so what are the origins of this interference interference current through the body okay current through the body that is the subject who is the patient current through the patient next interference current into the amplifier interference current into the amplifier in the sense the measuring instrument okay because we all very well know that this uh, ac supply will produce an flux okay alternating flux because this is an variable varying current okay so obviously an e and uh, alternating flux will be set up through this line okay from generation to utilization therefore this amplifier is one of the utilizer so uh, obviously it will also be affected by this emi wave okay then interference current into the measuring cable into the measuring cable so uh, the cable from the instrument is connected to the uh, this uh, patient okay so the emi interference may also occur through this uh, through this cable next final finally magnetically induced interference magnetically induced interference so of uh, the above three this above three is electrically induced interference and this fourth one is magnetically induced interference okay next uh, current through the body so um let me show you that uh, right leg driven once again please 
so here id is the current through the body okay this current will be very very low will be very very low keep in mind even a 20 milliamps very very important 20 milliamps through the body cause serious hazard electrical shock hazard to the patient 20 milliamps so that value should be maintained very low okay so here one second so this current okay will form a capacitance between the patient and the power line okay between the patient and the power line so uh, if this capacitance uh, is small interference current okay this capacitor will produce an small interference current to flow through the body okay to flow through the body so it is in this um, the measurement situation okay in this measurement situation the capacitance between the body and the ground okay can be taken into up to 30 picofarad okay can be taken into up to 30 picofarad and uh, is 3 picofarad is assumed okay so this capacitance between the power and the body will come in together and uh, this can be reduced by providing the another earth rod okay this can be reduced by providing the another earth rod through the skin okay through the skin and that system is this uh, right leg driven ecg and the next one is interference current into the amplifier okay so here we can see that the com uh, the current capacitance current between the amplifier and the main is csup and between the amplifier and the ground is ciso that is uh, capacitance of isolation okay there is a common ground okay so again this has to be minimized okay so that how it can be minimized again it is minimized by connecting the common uh, grounding techniques okay common grounding techniques and the next one is interference current into the measurement cable okay so the mesh cables that is from our body to the instrument okay from body to the instrument that is the, the, through that the interference may also Okay, so how it can be reduced? It can be reduced by so usually all the interference is only through the capacitive action. Okay, only through the capacitive action. So here also we can take that one. So that is uh, the capacitive coupling of the measurement cable. That is C A and C B. Okay, from a uh, bioelectric measurement between the cables and the patient. okay so again how it can be reduced it can be reduced uh, that is here look at this here what is the maximum current is 10 nanoamps okay 10 nanoamps and how it can be reduced it can be reduced to the maximum value by connecting the um, electrode impedance by connecting the electrode impedance next one very important magnetically induced interference okay this magnetically induced interference is entirely different from this uh, uh, electrically induced interference because this electrically induced interference will cause only the static uh, electric field whereas this magnetically induced interference uh, creates an uh, creates some uh, type of noise as well as it produces the electromagnetic waves we produce the magnetic electromagnetic waves even when a patient is under pacemaker monitoring then this will create a big impact on the patient and that leads to serious condition so how it can be reduced it can be reduced 
by uh, using the shielding okay by using the shielding especially the both electric shielding as well as the uh, magnetic shielding okay so in case of uh, uh, magnetic shielding multiple layers can be employed okay multiple layers can be employed that is uh, mod chamber okay and uh, that is uh, what is called as uh, with heavy copper wires okay so let us have the small glance of this final diagram okay so this is the final diagram so you can see the capacitance between the patient and the main here and this is the capacitance between the patient and the ground this is this is due to the current through the body and this is the current between the ground and this is the current into the op amplifier and uh, finally here in this magnetic uh, interference is not shown and uh, finally the interference due to the cable okay this is the cable okay so uh, the in the next class we are going to discuss about the how to reduce the interference okay fine we will see in the next class thank you